Hey, hey, hey guys and welcome to a new tutorial video on this channel. So today I'm launching a huge update for AIOmatic and once again a huge, huge update will be launched for this plugin. Starting from today you will be able to use Microsoft Azure besides of OpenAI. So I'm not sure if you know but Microsoft Azure is also hosting the API and the AI from OpenAI and the good thing for this is that on Microsoft Azure they are not so popular right now and their services is much much faster and more reliable than OpenAI's services so this update will enable you guys to connect also to Microsoft Azure besides of OpenAI so you can select any of these two providers so for this go to main settings API keys and in the latest version of the plugin we'll see AI API service provider selector and you can select Microsoft Azure also besides of OpenAI so if you don't want to switch to Azure no problem you will continue with OpenAI it's okay it will work as normally however you can get access to Azure and benefit of higher speeds higher AI speeds and better performance because Azure as I said is not so popular and they have very good servers and yeah they will work really fast right now so to make this work there is a bit of work to do from your site as you will need to check this tutorial so this tutorial will link you to this address here before getting started be check the pricing page of azure because uh, yeah they might have some small differences but usually the price for azure is not much higher than the price from OpenAI. okay after this said if you want to create your account be sure to create an azure account clicking here and click start free and create your azure account also this tutorial will be linked in this video's description so if you want to check this directly and follow also this video side by side you can do this also so create your azure account go to azure portal and here you will be able to start setting up so first of all you will need to create a subscription if you don't have one so if you don't have a subscription if and if you don't see here subscriptions listed click more services here in azure portal and search here subscriptions click subscription and here click add and three types of subscriptions will be listed here the most popular will be the pay as you go so i select play as uh, pay as you go click select offer and you will be needing to enter password again and sign up okay so after you have done this and created your subscription you can go ahead and follow the instructions from here as you created the pay as you go subscription you will need also to fill out this form to get access to azure open ai api if you don't have this already so this form will be linked in this link and here you will need to add your first name last name how many azure subscription ids do you need is this one is one the subscription id that you created before will be here in subscriptions and this is the subscription id so copy this string from here i think it can be copied only by ctrl c and paste it here so this is the subscription id and here from now down add your business email so it is important to have a business email because they mentioned that they don't accept gmail yahoo hotmail outlook emails also you will need to have a company for this so add your company street address city company province zip code country website phone number select independent service provider also the size of your company category of your company industry and uh, if you have contacts from microsoft you can optionally add 
my own organization select which region you want to use i selected all three and it's okay select text and dali to modes and select here for example art and design and uh, marketing because it's okay select i agree chat and conversation in the text and code chat and conversation also question answering for example writing assistance yes i attest yes i attest and you can leave here empty or write okay and click submit so after you submit this form they usually approve it in four six hours if you added all information here correctly be sure to add the subscription id here correctly because this is very very important but in the worst case in 24 hours you will get access to open ai api on azure so afterwards log into after you get approved the login to azure portal and you will have to do some steps once again because you will need to create a new resource so click on create a new resource here create a resource and search for open ai click enter hit enter and you will see if you are approved and note that only if you are approved you will see this click on open azure open ai click create and here you will need to select the subscription that you created the resource group if you don't have a resource group then click create new resource group add a name click ok select the region that you want to use so the region for which you got approved and you applied will be listed also here click uh, name get a name so open ai on azure pricing tier is standard s0 and you can check again pricing details here which will be listed similarly as i showed at the beginning of this video click next this leave at its default value this nothing needs to be changed and the review and submit and if everything is okay click create and you will get a new deployment for azure open ai setup so after this is done you will need to wait at this step five to ten minutes just to make sure that hope that microsoft azure manages to deploy open ai on your azure account so after you done this so let's check where are we so search configure provide the resources pay as you go we made this step already networking we've checked this okay create start deploying and we are at step 10 already so we will need to get access keys after we will get this deployed so after we will get this deployed we will get also access keys so you will see here the resources that you deployed so for example i have here a recent resource deployed after it is deployed you will get it listed here so let's click on an older resource that i created and here we will have also things that we will, will be able to use so for example this is the endpoint the endpoint so copy the endpoint this will be needed to be pasted in the azure open ai endpoint from the plugin settings so in here paste the endpoint that you are seeing here paste it here this is from another deployment this is why it is different and also to get a key click on click here to manage keys and you will see that you will have two api keys copy any of them and paste them here in the azure api keys settings field so after you paste it here your api key afterwards we will need one more step to do so we copied our keys added it them in the aiomatic plugin added also the endpoint in the settings now you need to go to 
OpenAI Azure portal. So this is another site where once again you will need to sign in and select the resource that you created. I did not get the resource selection now because I have here already selected it but you will get some similar pop-up and you will need to use resource click on use resource on the resource that you created be sure that the resource is finished creating so don't rush into this step leave it five or ten minutes just to finish processing on azure part and afterwards click on deployments here and click on this and click create new deployment and give it a simple name but suggestive one because you will need to create a deployment for each models that you want to use in OpenAI. So for example, if I want to use Code Da Vinci 2, I create a model with name Da Vinci 2 and select model the code da vinci 2 but uh, text da vinci 2 so text da vinci 2 sorry so not code but text da vinci 2 this is the one which is popular in some parts so text da vinci 2 and click create and we will get it listed here so right away we will get it listed here and all the deployments that you created here you must also enter in Azure OpenAI deployment settings field in this format. So the name of the deployment equals greater this little arrow sign and the model of the deployment. So you can add also multiple deployments separated by semicolons. So this is the format. So keep in mind, this is the name of my deployment from here, GPT 3.5 and the model of the deployment is gpt 3.5 turbo so you can add with point or without point both versions will work so copy the model name paste it here and also let's copy the da vinci 2 for example which we just created and add another semicolon to differentiate add the little arrow sign and also copy the model name and paste it here so we will be able to use now in AIOmatic with Microsoft Azure any of these models so GPT 3.5 text da Vinci 3 and text da Vinci 2 these are the supported models right now in Azure also you will be able to use the DALI 2 model with which is this is not listed and the DALI image generator is not needed to be added here in the deployments it will work out of the box without any config from your part so after this is done I already added in the Azure OpenAI deployment settings field from here. Also be sure to save settings from there. It's very important to always save settings and it will look something like this. And this is it. So if you want to get access also to GPT-4, you will need to fill out this form which is linked in the this part of the window and of this tutorial. So okay so you have already onboarded yes and click next and go through this tutorial if you want access to gpt4 and they should approve you when they um when they seem to get more people on board for gpt4 okay so now let me show you how the plugin will work with azure so as you can see i have now aromatic set up to work with azure and uh, if we go to playground for example and uh, let's create an image for example a blue cat on the beach so we should get faster image generate image generator responses and uh, we should not wait that much as we wait for open AI. so as you saw an image was generated really fast and this will be seen also in the chat so in the chat i can write hello how are you today my name is sabi what is your name so let's count one two 
in two seconds we got a response so from OpenAI's part recently we need to wait at least five seconds to get a response and you saw that from Azure we got in two in almost two seconds a really really great response for the OpenAI API so keep in mind this will work the same way as it works from OpenAI as Azure contains currently the same implementation of OpenAI's API also so they are somehow leasing it out or I'm not sure how they managed to get a copy of it I'm I think they are massive uh, investors in OpenAI and this is why they also have a copy on Azure available so keep in mind guys this is how you set up OpenAI on Azure and use it in AIomatic. I hope this info helps. Uh, on a side note, I need to specify that embeddings are currently not working with Azure, but I will work next week on this and probably I will add embedding support also for Azure OpenAI in AIomatic. And uh, model training is also not working at the moment. This will be uh, on my to-do list soon, but embeddings will come soon. Also, the other features will be fully working. So images will be able to be generated using DALI and the uh, chatbot text editing, everything will work and uh, you can give it a try let me show you also the single post creator and let us create a fast title for microsoft micro soft azure and generate a title one two in two seconds we got a title for cloud computing with microsoft azure okay so this was all for this tutorial video i hope you will enjoy this um, new update for aiomatic as it will bring highly needed speed and reliability so if you have any suggestions let me know in the comments of this video if you have ideas also let me know in the comments like share subscribe you help me go forward with my development by doing so I think I covered everything that I wanted in this video. Thank you very much for watching until then. This is all for today. Have a nice day. Bye bye.